Thank you, Mr. President. Today, colleagues, I bring you Senate Bill 1502A, the Education Board Transparency Act, which comes from our Senate Committee on Education with a unanimous vote. This bill will require K-12 school boards, community college boards, our public universities to both record their meetings and then make them available to the public. The idea behind this bill is simple, democracy and transparency. Oregonians across our state and all of our communities are actively engaged in wanting to participate in the civic dialogue within our education conversations. We see that all the time from people that are visiting us or emailing our offices or phone calling, making phone calls into us. But often parents or busy students or others with multiple jobs or people with disabilities don't have adequate transportation. They're not able to fully access the conversations that are happening regarding education in their own local communities. This bill will improve the transparency of our education boards. It will grant greater access to busy parents and community members by ensuring everyone can follow along and stay engaged. For me, this bill has personal meaning. My children attended the same schools that I did and were able to stay engaged and watch what's going on in our local school board because our district does record and post the meetings online. And in fact, prior to running for the school board, I went back for multiple years and was able to watch the actual conversation that was happening with our elected public school board members. And it was exceedingly valuable. But as I mentioned, often too many people aren't able to do that because of the demands that they have on their time or the other interests that they have. They aren't able to just to attend a school board meeting. I want to say, uh, in terms of the technology, it's very, very available. I want to thank April, my intern. She went on every school district website and community college board and university board website and found that 79 are already, both large and small, across the entire state, are posting their meetings online. The costs are minimal. The technology is widely, widely available. I, I was going to list out all 79 school districts, but I. I think I'll, I'll save you this morning. Um, I did want to just note one piece of testimony that we got on this bill, and it was from a gentleman named Tim Fain. Tim Fain from Dufer, Oregon. 350 total students in the entire district. He was very excited about this bill, about his opportunity to get more people engaged in tracking what was going on with his local school board because the Dufer School District covers a very large geographic area and it makes it a challenge for parents to attend each meeting. And in his email, Tim pointed out that if you have a cell phone, you have all you need in terms of the technology to record and share these meetings. Colleagues, I also wanna say I'm very grateful to my colleagues from across the aisle, um, Senator Thatcher, Senator Weber, Representative Owens, Representative McIntyre, who not only worked with me on the initial draft, but to also make sure that the bill was not overly burdensome to school boards across the state. There have been several amendments. So um, Representative McIntyre pointed out that for many rural districts, broadband access can be a real issue. So this bill, in order to comply, just you can actually just, if you do have broadband issues, you can just post an audio recording of your school board meeting. Secondly, Representative Owens, brought to our attention in committee that he has many school districts that are very, very small. And so this is for very small school districts where sometimes they don't even have a superintendent or another uh, staff level at that level. Th this would um, exempt them from the requirements of the legislation. And then finally, uh, colleagues, uh, this does not expand any open meeting law or anything as it relates to any executive session. This doesn't change board practice, policy, procedure, or that law. So thank you for your consideration today. I think we all strive in our democracy for transparency and accountability, and especially when it involves decisions that are being impacted at our local levels with our local schools. Thank you for your support. I would encourage an I vote. Thank you, Mr. President. Discussion to the mo uh, 